There are always updates updates on Afghanistan. And updates on Afghanistan and Iraq are never, ever, ever good. Um, and you, you need to understand something. Remember how I always say the Democratic Party doesn't care for you? Nor will they ever care for you? Well, I'm going to show you why now. And th this video is mainly to describe the incompetent, stupid, bullshit media we've got in this country. That all they do is they run propaganda for the State Department and the Pentagon and every everywhere else. And for each administration, Biden, Trump, Obama, Bush, Clinton, Bush Sr., Reagan, Nixon, Carter. Well, Carter, not, not as much because he was a good guy, but Ford. Go all the way back. So this current update is, is one that <laughs> should anger you if A, you're a progressive, but B, if you're just a person who hates war. If you're a person that hates war, you're going to love this story. And by love, I mean be petrified. So the LA Times comes out releasing a story. And it's, quote, uh, if we stay in the war in Afghanistan, if we stay in the war in Afghanistan, it'll be safer for Americans. And if we could do the deal and go by the deal that Trump had, that Biden inherited, that would be released by May, the Taliban could attack major cities. Attack major cities. Oh, no. Get ready. Holy crap. We're, we're, they're getting ready. They're going to attack major cities. So basically what they're saying here is, uh, 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 and so they're going to attack major cities, especially if Biden, the, the Biden administration, does not find a deal and make a deal by May to withdraw. So this is so stupid. It's the, it's the media, the LA Times, the Los Angeles Times, Running propaganda for the media. It's for, 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 for the Democrats in power. It seems like this is their only job. And let me just say this. This is what makes them stupid and careless and awful. And why people don't read their goddamn paper. It is because of this. Now, I mean, you were like... They're just mouthpieces at this point. They've always been, but seriously. There, there's no fact checking. There's no evidence. There's no, oh hey, can you give us evidence that says that we're gonna that, that we're gonna be attacked by the Taliban? No! Okay, but I'll just print it anyway. What in the fuck is this? And remember why we went into Afghanistan. Ah, because Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden is there. The, and we, we didn't... And then why did we go into Iraq? Oh, well, oh Saddam Hussein. <gasps> we gotta get Saddam Hussein. They're both dead. They're both dead. Saddam Hussein's been dead forever. For years. And Osama bin Laden, that dude's been dead for 11 years. Almost 11 freaking years. He has been dead. And by the way, this deal that, that, that they're talking about from Trump, they say, oh, who's going to get us out? He wasn't going to get us out. Trump was a cuck. He wasn't going to get us out. He, people say, oh, uh, Trump, he, he's the first president in decades to never start a war. Um, Clinton didn't. Clinton didn't invade another country. Now Clinton did continue like airstrikes, and so did Bush, and so did Obama, and so did Trump, and so is Biden. But when you say that, you forgetting that Trump increased his drone strikes by four hundred and thirty-two percent, and had like Obama an over ninety percent civilian death rate. So let's just remember that. All right. So, this whole thing of, oh, it was going to get us completely out. No, he was doing what Obama was doing. It, it, so, the deal would leave about 2,000 troops in Afghanistan. So, it was, so, you're like, with Obama, he would, like, play yo-yo with the troops. Boomerang. 
Oh, we're going to put some in, take some out. Put a bunch of them in, take a bunch of them out. That's what he did. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, he literally did that. So Trump, and if you remember, he, he, he pulled troops out of northern Syria, endangering the Kurds, and then sent them over to, like, western Syria. Or southern portions of Iraq. And then he would pull troops out of Afghanistan, but then send them elsewhere. In the western parts of Iraq and, and of Syria and everywhere else. So it's not like, oh, yay, he's going to get us out. No! No, he's not going to get us out. This is, the, this, is, this is the biggest thing. And then, like, so to say that, oh, they're going to attack us. You got, okay, you guys got to remember why. And if you don't know, I'm about to inform you why we got there in the first place. Yeah, it was Saddam Hussein and it was Bin Laden. They said, oh, Saddam Hussein in Iraq, like, they do this all the time. We're going to get out. We're going to get out. We're going to get out. And then we stay in. But you got to realize when we got into Iraq, it was because, well, oh, weapons of mass destruction. But oil production shot way up, way up. Oil production went way up in Iraq. And other natural resources were taken there. And we killed, the U.S. killed about a million civilians, probably maximum, probably minimum, probably minimum. This whole only 100,000 civilians, give me a break. There's no, give me a break, Jack. As Biden would say, there's no way we only killed 100,000 minimum. No, no, no. Give me a break. Give me a break on that. It, like, it, it, it's it's so stupid. It, it, it really is. So, now in Afghanistan, why are we there? Uh, the first part was, oh, we got to get Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden's gone. Then they, like, they don't even, right? But then we also, the U.S. wanted the natural resources, like opium, like lithium, like, like, like ion, like, like, like all of those natural resources, lithium ion, whatever it is, they, they wanted those. <laughs> they wanted those natural resources. And, 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 nobody ever tells you these truths in the media. Because the geopol geopolitical advantages that are there. China and Russia, two of our enemies in the U.S. We want to take control of the Middle East as much as possible so that China and Russia can't. So that the United States can wane its influence over them and have an influence over these countries. And so that's, that's where that whole talk of, oh, we need to bring democracy. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Freaking shit. Now, they also said, like, here's the thing. They don't even have goals for why we're in Afghanistan. It's not like, well, you know, we got this and this and that. No, 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 no. They stopped doing that. As soon as all their fucking arguments ran out, all their freaking arguments ran out and, and they just stopped. Now it's, ah, that's just the way it is. Ah, oh, we can't get out. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Ha, <laughs> ha. And the media just goes along with it. Oh, I guess we're in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, we're in Afghanistan. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, and then, like, so their first goal for Afghan for uh, Iraq was Saddam Hussein. But then for Afghanistan was we got to get Osama bin Laden. We didn't even get Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan. We got him in fucking Pakistan. In the Badabad, Pakistan. In a freaking compound. That's That's incredible. And, and so then when, and then they said, oh, it was Al-Qaeda. Oh, oh, we got to stay there for Al-Qaeda. When like a decade ago, 10 to 12 years ago, or 10 or 11 years ago, our own intelligence report said, oh, there's less than 100 Al-Qaeda members. There's less than 100. Why the fuck are we still there? Why? It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. And then they moved the goalpost. And they said, oh, it's the Taliban. Let me just tell you, the Taliban in Afghanistan is a guerrilla army. They're an army, a small militant army uh, that lives in Afghanistan. <laughs> you, that'd be like you as a homeowner 
having a gun and protecting your home against invaders. And then the invaders saying, wow, we got to stay here because he won't leave. It's your house. It's yours. What the hell? Right? <laughs> so now they're saying, oh, it's the Taliban. They're never going to leave. They're never, all these arguments, even if they came up with a logic, like, to them, a logical argument well, for of me, an illogical argument. But even if they came up with a somewhat convincing argument, do you really think the, the American people are going to be like, oh, yeah, we got to stay in Afghanistan? No, we've been there for over 20 fucking years. At least 20 years. At least 20 years. People who were born in 01 are now going into the war that we shouldn't be in. Because right now the attitude is, oh, well, we should just stay there. We invade a place and we stay there forever. Invade another place, we stay there forever and overthrow their governments and put our own puppets in power and take their natural resources. That's the argument. That, that's the whole premise. That's the whole idea. And then we, we put our own puppets in there who are warlords who have child sex slaves. And you don't believe me? Whistleblowers came out. Soldiers came out as whistleblowers and and and. And, and talked about that. And told on the US for doing that. And guess what? They got punished. Not the United States. Notice how they don't even protect whistleblowers in this country. Because they don't care about whistleblowers in this country. It doesn't matter about whistleblowers. You don't matter. We're going to kill you. We're going to prosecute you. We're going to do everything we can. We're going to torture you. Because you spoke out against the regime. You spoke out against the empire. That is the United States of America. For doing corrupt shit. That we should be called out for. That's exactly what they're saying. I'm not saying that. They are. And I mean. That's incredible. Like. It's incredible how. Those are their arguments. They have no arguments. And then the media just goes along with it. And then they make stupid illogical ones. And the media doesn't tell you this. That's why you have. Dummies and idiots like me. Coming to tell you. Why are we actually in Afghanistan? Because I'm not looking for a contract on MSNBC and I'm not looking to work for the Department of Defense or the CIA. I'm not looking for that. And that's why I can tell you that's if YouTube doesn't take me down. I already had one instance. So... Now, you know, we're, we're in Afghanistan, we're in Iraq, Somalia, Yemen, Pakistan, um, the Sudan, South Sudan, uh, I think it said Somalia, South Africa, we're trying to overthrow Venezuela, that's what we do, so we, we, we go in, overthrow Venezuela, overthrow Iran, overthrow Iraq, we go, that, that's all we do, that's all we do, that's all we do, and yet we, it's amazing how we've got a thousand air bases all across the world, around China, around Russia, in Germany, we've got our own freaking city. So we can have a thousand air bases, but we can't take care of our people. Oh, we need Medicare for all. How are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for it? It's not free. Oh, but here, can you give us $50 billion a year to stay in Afghanistan? Wow. Wow. Our infrastructure is shit. We got a C minus in, in the new report. We've got dilapidated cities like Detroit. We got millions without clean water. Thanks, Obama, for not doing anything about that. <laughs> and thanks you, thank you, Trump, and thank you, Biden. We got millions of people in student debt that Joe Biden won't get rid of. He just does little meekly ass things. One less than one percent of it. Incredible, just incredible. All the resources go overseas and we can't even take care of our country. I say it's time to get out of the fi the fucking Middle East. Let's get the fuck out of there. We don't need to be there anymore. It's bullshit that we're still there. Let's take care of our country and let the media do their fucking jobs right. You suck balls for parroting and fucking saying what the top commanders say without ever being their watchdogs because that's what you're supposed to be. Without asking for evidence. It shows you how stupid and how awful and what goddamn idiots they are in the media. And, and, and how they're not actual journal, journalists. Because actual journalists get murdered. And then we don't do anything to Saudi Arabia when, when they do get murdered by Saudi Arabia. And then we 
uh, try to prosecute and we're now we're persecuting Julian Assange and Edward Snowden because they blew the whistle on U.S. government crimes. That's what happens to actual journalists in this country. So, there you go. Afghanistan's still a mess.